So the main menu has completely changed. All right, so we're back. Welcome to another episode of Lies of P. So last time we left off right after defeating the King of Puppets. And we're supposed to speak to this old lady here. And I want to say something drastic might happen. Is that supposed to be her? I forgot. Oh, it's you. Come closer, won't you? When you reach a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. That's a portrait of me when I was young. <laughs> I was so feisty, so fearless back then. I loved the world, and the world loved me back. The passion of those days is long gone. But I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Oh, God. Of course. I, still have I think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> it seems Gepetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. It may be a comfort to you someday. chill lacking the vibes oh there he is welcome good sir at last we speak frankly instead of with professional reserve I have something to confess something involving your unique perspective I am a puppet whose ego has awoken I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I adore Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? Yes. Ah, the wedding <sighs> ring. It exists indeed. Hmm. An unbelievable love to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. Mm. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty. The very reason I was created. Welcome to Hotel Craft. This is where we defeated the boss. I want to make sure there's nothing, nothing we missed around here. Still kind of crazy that we defeated this guy. Okay. So let's see what happens. Oh, there's Geppetto. 
I'm glad you're safe. I was so scared I would lose my precious son. It's risky for me just being out here. Fortunately, you didn't need my help. I'm so proud that I got to see my son defeat the king. Hopefully the lesser puppets will die down soon. Now that the king is dead, the puppets have no leader, no direction. But the curse of the petrification disease still lingers. It's tough, but I know where you should go now. The Grand Exhibition. Rumors say the alchemists there have developed a cure. As a man of invention, I'm skeptical of the alchemists, both their science and their motives. But they may be the city's last hope. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. If it will help Antonia and the others, it's worth exploring. Go to the Grand Exhibition and see what you can find. Oh shit, like that? Thanks, Geppetto. I mean, thanks, Dad. <laughs> that one puppet could control so many others. That's a memorable feat indeed. Unlike a real king, the puppet left no heir. The remaining puppets are leaderless, and we can reclaim the city. But it's still a city beset by the petrification disease. Seek a cure. He just said the same thing in a different way. <laughs> jamming oh what the heck is that it's a dog with a damn saw blade this weapon is a little slower a little slightly slower slightly slower I don't know if I should bring up the technique. I know we can alter the handle and then it'll be more technique with less motivity. But I think that makes it slightly weaker. I don't know if that'll increase the speed. I don't know. But What's going on? All these puppets look utterly down. Depressed even. That seems weird. That's weird, right? I mean, their king is dead. Obviously, because of us. We're the new king in town, baby. Their king dead, they... They seem lost. Then again, maybe... Maybe they're warning him? Whatever's happening. It's like they can't tell their elbow joints from their tail sockets. I'm not even sure they can function without the king to guide them. Well, that's good. It's good for us. Oh, nice. Moonstone. Wow, that move is nasty. That's a cool move. When you hold it down. So I had to take out the third amulet because uh, if we have it equipped when we're slightly heavier. So just for the sake of using this weapon, I've disabled it until we have enough. Enough capacity. Which should be within the next one or two upgrades. Honestly. here yeah they're like completely i don't know 
gazing at the stars or some shit. You see that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this thing just has a big range. That's what it has. It has a really big range, like a long range. Block sword. Oh my god. They just keep giving me weapons. I, I don't know what to do anymore at this point. I, mean, I just keep getting weapons. Look at this. That's pretty cool. Pretty, uh, pretty unique. I do say so myself. I'm gonna keep this one though. Because this looks really. This is probably the coolest looking weapon we have so far. We do have the other one that's very bloodborne is uh, bloodborne is that saw blade another saw blade the uh this one right here i forgot the name of it this one bone cutting yeah, saw blade the fuck bro That was not a <laughs> that that didn't go according to plan. All right, what do we got here? We've got we've got some rain. Uh, can we go up there? No. Got some puppets. Well, Renzini's arcade. <sighs> Bastards. Yeah, the puppets are like completely just they don't even care they're like crying so weird that's good for me very good for me I think we've cleared the floor here before we head into the arcade is that the entrance no that's not an entrance um there's another one here no that's it's just a headless statue now we've got open the door okay hold on all right nothing up there i guess we will open the door Okay, hold on, I got a phone call. right I think so yeah you've got to be careful because these these guys are fucking sneaky as shit oh what the some air go gotta be mindful here gotta be mindful of our surroundings I think I just spotted a uh, stargazer all right this is good this is really good should be safe here should be very safe 
I love how we have seven pulse cells now. <laughs> it feels so much, so much more at ease. All right, we've got a uh, possible shark out there as well. We've got one straight to the right. Um, guys, sometimes I do wish we had a little bit of a mini map going on, or not a mini map, but just a map in general. Oh, bro. That is not good. I completely forgot about the decay status, which is utterly freaking annoying. Wow, look at the range on this thing. Absurd. Now we've also got 11,000 air gold. We've got to be careful with that. Don't want to lose all that shit. Can we open this up? You need the Lorazini arcade key. Is that what it said? Just want to double check. Yes, arcade first floor. Okay, so there's more than one floor here. That's just fucking great. Well, that's not one enemy, but now it's... Oh, fuck, fuck. One thing I don't miss, excuse me, one thing that I miss about that other weapon we had was the stagger. These enemies seem to not get staggered. Like that hit pushback that I would get with the other weapon with the tridents, I don't see it a lot with this weapon. He's got the key? No, he does not have the key. She has the key. Yep. Oh my god. Hello. Oh, you're dead. Anything here I can collect? Just a random room with absolutely zero rewards? That's just phenomenal. Not what I was hoping for. All right, so now I'm gonna save again because that one enemy really took me out. All right, we're gonna use the key here. And off to the race as we go. Let's see what other enemies decide to pop out of nowhere. This place is disgusting. This is like their hive. You know, like those people that were in the forest. Oh God. Hold up. Let me go back there. Take some pulse cells here. Rejuvenate myself. Shit. All right. We can't go that way. I don't even, I don't even want to know what happens when we go in there. That's probably all decay liquid. Oh, 
I've also noticed this weapon takes a lot of uh, stamina every time you go for like an attack or something. There's gonna be a butterfly. Here. You definitely could do it. You just you, you gotta be a little bit more aggressive. And right now, I just don't want to keep failing here. Ah, oh, gotta remember there's a butterfly here. Whoa, whoa, calm down! Stupid ballerina, man. Stupid thing down there. It is. All right. So was this like a dead end this whole time? Cause how in the world am I gonna get up there? This is the other side. Oh <laughs> dang! Oh, that was risky. I didn't even realize how much health I had left. It's probably best we uh. I think we're done here. The only thing we've got left to do is go down. I also probably ought to go to Hotel Crowd and upgrade. The portrait hanging in Geppetto's room. It looks very much like you. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. Mm. Oh, I did. All right, so now that we're here, this is good because there's actually a purpose. Not just to take the ergo, but also go to the room. Let's get an upgrade going here. It's a neck. Many of those children grew oh, up sorry. at the Rose Estate and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or don't tell me. The king's ergo is actually... Are you okay? You look ill. What? Ever since I mentioned the necklace. My heavens. You look... Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, what's happening? What just happened? You're changing. You're oh. becoming something more than a puppet. <laughs> oh, what? Human. Yo! If this is what you want, just keep behaving. Keep feeling like a human does. Yo, that's sick! You might just hold the true secret of Ergo. Oh my god, look at my hair, bro! Oh, shit! I'll use my power <laughs> That's fucking cool, man. All right, so I'm gonna go with capacity because I definitely want to go with capacity. Technique. Hmm. I want to go with technique, yeah. That's sick, dude. Let's go to the room. So now we've got long hair. What the heck? 
That's hilarious. That's actually actually looks pretty cool. There's Geppetto! Oh my. This is a change I didn't expect. <laughs> Yo, what? Did the King of Puppets get you? Or some other ruffians? I'm glad you're growing. But I'm not sure what to make of this. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy for me. Ah, I'm glad you're here, my son. Have you seen that painting? I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Just like the fairy tale. Forgive a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have my work to keep me busy. Yes, a goodness. And this. And this weapon that you can, you can hit enemies. You can hit enemies through walls. Because it uses like a different force or some shit. Wait, what? You can't use that against me? What the fuck? Really? Half Moonstone. Oh, that's a good one. All right, let's get it then. All right, this doesn't give me any decay, so that's good. This is good because I can I can attack it from. Actually, it can't hit me. Oh my god. No, no, no. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. That's like, that's so freaking useful. System here. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, the, the thing about this weapon too is the durability is pretty trash. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. The durability is definitely on the trash side. So I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see. We've got another ring. Oh man. It's gonna be too heavy. I don't know. This is kind of creepy. Monad Charity House concert. All of the uh, all of you are invited to the concert being held at the Monad Charity House. We pray for the successful opening of the exhibition. Children sponsored by the Monad Charity House have a message of love and hope for all of you. Don't miss this chance to listen to the most innocent performance in all of Kratz. Okay. Uh, okay. Getting the kids involved, I see. Arcade underground pass key. 
that's just fucking great. Probably decay in there, right? What the fuck? I wonder if we have to turn off some sort of valve. What? No, man. That's not it. That's some bullshit. There's two of them. Stargazer. Oh, gosh. I need to find a stargazer like right now. I think it should be somewhere. All right, we got the key. This is most definitely. Who are you? A lost visitor or a looter who's arrived too late? You look like a stalker. I figured you were all dead. <laughs> no offense. Stalker, visitor, looter, I don't care. Just buy what you need and leave. Circular electric chainsaw. Look at this. Increases resistance of a disruption shock or break. He's got some pretty decent stuff. This doesn't give me a stargazer though, huh? No. Bro, I need a stargazer. Like, I don't care about anything else. Also locked. Oh no, it's not locked. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, perfect. I know my way around a way. Let me see. Should we go for it? Mm, let's go for it. Screw it. Look at the next one, 219. That's crazy. I don't need no damn tricks to kill you, bro. I don't need no damn tricks. I can trust myself. Yeah. They're ganging up on me. Dude, 
dude. That's just not fair. I'm gonna try and go this way. See if I can uncover whatever's on this side. Starting with you. Punk. Yes. Alright. Alright, so those two guys are over there. I can just go over there and grab his stuff. Or not his stuff, but like that thing hanging around over there. That item, that ergo thingamajig. This guy's gonna come here. Whoopsie! Sorry, dude! But not today! Oh, shit. All right, we got the key now, which is what matters, which is what we needed. So, if we trace our steps, I think it was this. Okay, I'm, I'm losing it. It was this way. Excuse me. Got the underground key now. I don't know how we're gonna deal with that. I mean. It's not that way, right? Where all the decay is at? Shit. Yeah, there we go. Seems to be another sort of big enemy. Yikes. Oh, it's this lady again. That it also takes away from your health, I think. Oh, there's a butterfly there, too. That's fucking great. Sometimes it just feels like the simplest enemies are the ones that really get to you, you know? Because you under you underestimate them. Alright, should I be going up here? What's up here? Another shortcut possibly? Yeah, let's get it. Nice. This is good. Gotta find out where the uh, stargazer is. Missed me. All right, stargazer's over there. So what we will do? We're gonna go straight that way by the sign. Yes, and then we'll take that shortcut. We're starting to open up everything. All the alternative routes. It's very good. Very good indeed. But uh Playboy. Uh. I hate this shit. Alright, hold on. This way, right? Yes, this way. Good, 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 good. The greatest show on earth is coming. The biggest show on earth is coming to Kra to make your heart race. Dear ladies and gentlemen, introducing the grand exhibition in Kra, the city of tomorrow, the center of the new age. State of the art machines, balloons spread across the sky and a popular performance that toured from across the great desert in the south of the country in the far east. Do not forget the essence of the automated puppet, the center of Kra's revival. The greatest show awaits you all. Don't miss your chance to see the following exhibition gallery. Puppets of the future, multi-purpose puppets, Vanini's tram, new boulder puppets, special exhibition of yours. Okay. 
cool story, bro. I'm the only credible puppet here. You understand? I'm the ultimate puppy. I mean, puppet. Not, not puppy. Definitely not puppy. I am not a puppy. I am a puppet. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's going to be another one of those big guys here, huh? Let's go. Easy killings, baby. Yo, why can't I kill him? The fuck? Okay. What the fuck? Nah, bro, what the heck? seems wow bullshit damn okay so I did destroy one of his weapons Sucker. Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. I got you figured out. Doesn't feel good, does it? All right, let's not fuck this up. Goodness, that guy was annoying. Especially, especially with all these other creeps here. He was excessively aggressive. Increases damage inflicted on puppets. I might actually want to take this off now that we're here, although that was a puppet. Increases ergo acquisition when killing enemies. Ooh. That actually might not be a bad idea. Balance crank and just save, to be honest. Of the, uh, venerable lady looking for some wine? You know, like the wine you've got. Oh, that's right. That is right. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go to the Stargazer. We gotta go... We, 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 we gotta replenish our cells anyways. Besides, that thing's not gonna be there. That's kind of like a mini boss in a way. It's I, I doubt they'll spawn that thing back in there again. So... I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna give this wine to that lady by the window. Ah, la oui. Even in the bottle, it has a distinctive shade of red. Ah, thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. But this, this glimmer of happier days is priceless. Oh, why you almost forgot. They're speaking of price. Here's what I can spare. Please take it. Hmm. Okay. Strike a light. You find a commemorative coin dating from the founding of the Vanini Foundation. The foundation is a sort of 
fan club, sir. A very limited number of these were minted for the original members. Well, once Master Venini established himself as the <clears throat> Prince of High Society, his popularity skyrocketed, and his signature coat and glasses were mass-produced. This is one of the originals, however, from the limited run. Take care of it, won't you? You have restored Master Benini's lost collection. You've earned this small token of appreciation, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna go with capacity. One more time. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. I'm, I'm actually really happy we're out of that damn arcade facility Grand exhibition theme was automatic puppet city of the future the plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in crop but you know the rest you can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos and now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare oh gosh got a bad feeling about this I, I sense that we're very, very close to a boss. Oh, man. All right, so we can go straight that way. Where do we go? Hold on. Let me let me check this over here. Dark Moonstone of the Covenant. <laughs> we need one more for an upgrade. That's going to be sweet. Oh. Oh god. Okay, all right. Okay. <sighs> it's not good. It's not good. Not good. Not good. Can I open this? Yes, I can. No, I cannot. Okay, how do we how do we Can I open this? Oh, I'm not gonna open that door. Nope, nope. Not doing it. Not, not quite yet. All right, I gotta see how I can go to that side of the courtyard. It seems kind of uh, important. That seems like a shortcut as well. Let's see if there's a gate or a doorway somewhere around here. Interesting. Okay, so we probably have to go in there. And then find a way out through the other side and then open up that shortcut. Okay. Let's. I'm actually kind of lost. Let's check out this side. Okay. That's, man, this weapon is clutch when it comes to that. Just. Even if there's a structure in the way, it, it, it's got your back. Look at that. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. I'm really starting to love it. Oh, shit. Okay. Once we upgrade this bad boy one more time, oh, we're going to be in there. Once we get that 219, boy, oh, boy, it's going to get crazy. 219 damage is going to be the next upgrade. All right, here we go. Oh, broke your sword, bucko. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Damn, son. All right, let me actually... Go ahead and repair that just in case. Okay. Okay, little alleyway back here. Sweet. Is it me or does it do more damage when the repair is all the way up? I think it does, huh? Uh oh, not one of these guys. Oh, 
that's just fucking wonderful. Why? gonna play a ring around the rosy here with him. <laughs> as best I could. Yeah, he's strong as shit. the best the best way I can do this right now fuck oh god dude I'm, I'm like it's like if you're stuck in that transition that animation you can't really deflect anything mean to upset you <laughs> this is such a cheap way to kill this thing I just really don't want to risk anything and honestly the damage is kind of ridiculous not doing much damage at all right now Shit touches me and it's like, my God. So this it's just like this one but much better. It's a heavier one too. Mm. Wow, it's much better. Holy smokes. I just haven't even equipped this one because I'm slightly heavy with it, so I've, I've I've had to deal with this crap. Man, yikes. We still have two pole cells left. We we've got a little bit of wiggle room here. Oh, wow. Hold on. Let's check out back here. Legion magazine. Okay. I have a feeling let me let me try and take this just to see where it takes us and then I want to come back because I feel like that main door of that building right here is gonna be very significant but I, I mean let's see where this takes us just train trolley or whatever Okay, takes us to the side of this building. There's gotta be some sort of save point here somewhere. Ergo is life, that is right. There it is, Stargazer, perfect. Perfection. And that's the entrance over there. So possibly, I'm thinking maybe we weren't even able to open up that door from the other side. That's why I took that transportation I, I, I figured once you take a big leap 
further into the uh, level that usually is a stargazer, and that's exactly what we have here. So, hold on. There's something here. Talk to Vanini. Can you hear me? Vanini? Aviva, it actually worked. This has to be how the King of Puppets did it. How he called to the puppets and controlled them. I can't believe you can transmit your voice through ergo waves. What a brilliant discovery. And you'll never believe what signal I've picked up over the ergo. A cry for help from the Grand Exhibition. Somehow someone survived. I'm suspicious too, but you have to investigate. What if it's some trapped innocent? I think we're gonna go for Vigor, believe it or not. Um, yeah. Oh wow, another dark moon. Nice. We need two more guys. And this... This would now be... I wonder if we could have... Um, I wonder if we could have opened this from the other side. And saved ourselves all this trouble. Anyways. We're here now. That's all that matters. Probably we could have and then we just weren't... Wouldn't have been able to get that shortcut there. So I guess it worked out. We've got that over there. Which... I wonder if we can go... No, that's a dead end. So before we go that way... I want to go that way, but that's probably like that garden side area. Puppets of the future, the Iron Giants that will lead us to a new era. Isn't like... That's like the one we killed in like chapter 3 or something. Broke your sword, bro. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. We're doing pretty good. We've got, we've got a stargazer there, so I'm not even worried. All right, maybe it does pay to break some of these boxes. Oh, shit. What the fuck? understand it unfortunately you gotta go bro oh you want some too saka yeah that's right okay good i think we can find a little way in here to grab that item i see an item in there i will take that another half okay that's damn i thought that was gonna be a dark moonstone it's just a half stone. Okay. I think we're going to go to the courtyard from here. Wait, wasn't there just like a... I could have sworn there was a puppet here. Just disappeared? Or am I going crazy? Or maybe both? Oh, What? Oh, 
I know what I'm gonna do. We will be back. I just gotta grab this first. Hold on. I can go back there. <sighs> Damn. I gotta grab that. Those, those are, or specifically that one might have something that I'm gonna need for an up, for an upgrade. So I, I gotta definitely flirt with the idea at least. That I should try and grab that back. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, what the fuck is this, man? This is ridiculous. Oh, boy. destroy this yet so let's see if we can uh fuck off are you kidding me that is like the worst place I could have died <laughs> that is like the worst place I could have died <laughs> That's how bad. That's how bad I want to recover my ergos, okay? That's how bad I want to recover these ergos. The fact that I'm I, I I have to balance myself in a fucking This is ridiculous! So nervous over here, stupid. I'm just gonna grab this item here. Alright, that's all I want. I just wanna grab this real quick. I know there's a shortcut here. This is how you get to the shortcut that we were talking about earlier. Out of all things, that's insane that you have to go through that. <laughs> that's ridiculous. This is getting to be very unpleasant. Oh, that's actually a shortcut. Oh. Oh, okay. That's completely different. That's that's an actual freaking bridge. Okay. I mean, I guess it is a shortcut. It's just a little bit different. Oh, hold on. There's something here. Oh, hold on a second. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. The Resurrection Champion Victor has returned. Circus had the man who stood at the pinnacle of life, Champion Victor, has returned. Do you remember the great wrestler Victor? 
the Hercules of Krat, the man who never backed down even when pitted against a lion and a bear. The veteran warrior who painted the circus with your cheers and applause. Victor is coming back to us. Victor's uh, incurable illness that came suddenly a few years ago saddened all Krat citizens. Everyone learned that he's human after all and fate can be avoided. But with the help of the alchemist and medical science, champion Victor is back from the dead. The illness can't bother him anymore. A steel-like will and superhuman power that defied fate. The world's strongest man, Champion Victor, is coming back to us. His big return match is with none other than an automated puppet. Uh, this coming full moon, witness what's sure to be a legendary moment of the man who stood at the pinnacle of besting even a machine. Only a few spots left. Hurry and buy your tickets now. Alright, good. Oh boy. Alright, good. Oh my. There's gotta be a star stargazer on the other side. Oh man. Oh finally we can now upgrade again. <laughs> Okay, the fuck? Hold on. <laughs> Stargazer? Anyone? Did I leave an item back there? Damn, I did. Damn, I've got zero pole cells, so I've got to be extra careful here. different area where am I is there a stargazer here hold on let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice little quick upgrade I'll use my power to help you thank you okay Go vitality. I feel like we've been abandoning vitality for some reason. Can I leave that behind? Very, very important. And then we're gonna go here and see if we can finally upgrade. Excellent. Even though I haven't been using this a lot, I, I still feel like that's gonna be helpful. Let's see if we can finish this part off and unlock the uh I guess the courtyard section. There's a little shark right here too. This is gonna be pretty difficult. Maybe, possibly. There's really not a whole lot of wiggle room here with this big guy. Oh, nice, we got quartz. Wanna see if I can at least. I can unlock this. This is gonna be really tough here. Pretty sure I parried that, but okay. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, bro.
my god! Oh my god! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! A strength amulet. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I was a dead man walking. How did I manage to do that? Wow. <sighs> amulets, amulets. Okay, here it is. Uh... Okay. Equipped motivity. Hmm. Motivity plus four. Right now I've got uh, ergo increase, which is pretty decent considering. I will go with that for a little bit now. Once we go to our boss, I'll change it up or whatever. So we're back here. Great. The enemies did not spot me. They, they didn't turn on. A okay. Everything's good. Okay, good health. Here we go. Another fine day in the city of Krog. But I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Ah. Oh. <laughs> if your goal is to study the human condition, there's no better way than my position. You know how it is. It's time for a quiz. Today's riddle might have you over the barrel, mm -hmm. but get this one wrong and you will be in peril. So answer correctly or tango with danger. But when you quiz with the king, danger's no stranger. Now, listen closely and heed the king's speech for the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Think about this. Whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Well, an egg, because you can't use an egg. You gotta eat an egg. Correct! You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so glower. I'm as happy as a parent. In the last you could use. There are those who wish to crack the shell and be reborn. How about you? Can you awaken and break free of the shell that is your puppet's body? <laughs> oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So I'll reward you with a hint. At the grand exhibition, you now must behold all fingertips of the woman of cold look close before she escapes your notice then i'm done with you mostly behold the fingertip of the cold woman at the grand exhibition okay uh so i got the answer right but he doesn't reward me he gives me a fucking that's just phenomenal. Oh man, what is that? Is that a flamethrower? Oh, yeah, yay. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see this here. What the heck? Oh, here it is. Is that the woman? The grand exhibition. Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. A trinity. Okay, so that's definitely that's definitely the riddle. Or like the the. Not the riddle, but the, uh, the little quiz from the letter he gave us. What happens when we just break that? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's not a flamethrower. That's a machine gun. I think they're pretty weak. 
wound stone. Yo, what the f What the heck, bro? Sharp pipe. Okay. Oh, we can actually just roll into them. I wonder if there's like anything heading, uh, hidden in one of these. Let me just... Let me just uh, break them in case there is. Table catalyst. I hear something. Something pretty nasty. Up there. I hear something here. The grand exhibition. Should I go up there? Let me go up there. Hold on. There's also an item. She's probably gonna be hard as shit, huh? the legion arm it's not bad not bad at all okay what do we got here we have a uh, stargazer that looks like a little mini boss arena if I've ever seen one truthfully And that key's probably gonna be over here. Fuck. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is that the guy that we're talking about? Yes, and they brought him back to life. Oh my gosh. Hold on, time out. I'm gonna come back for your ass. Don't don't you worry about that shit. It's just there's always a shortcut. There's always a shortcut. I'm coming back for that ass. Instead of having to do everything all over again. Sturdy crot supply box. Probably take that to Vinini. Yep. Okay, there's a stargazer. So if we need to come back, we're right here already. We good. We good, fam. Oh, there's the boss. <laughs> there's the boss. There's the boss door right there. All right, let's get this punk out of here. He's probably going to kill me. Bro, Rocky Ball Ball were reincarnated? <laughs> he 
He's gonna kill me. Wait, why even bother? I'm just, just gonna go to the fucking stargazer. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> down it ain't that deep bro yeah now you feel it huh told you i'm coming back and when we come back we come back with a vengeance baby okay please sir just relax When you're in the middle of a move and it's just like he's dead he's dead anyways i don't care <laughs> oh wow legion caliber that's actually really good damn that's very good i thought he was gonna give me the key to this thing here okay apparently not this is you need Saintus of Makery. Okay, probably after the boss. All right, so we defeated him. Best thing to do now is go back to the Stargazer and uh, get to work. Sometimes I've figured out that sometimes it's best to, when you get to these areas where you have like these little mini bosses, sometimes it's best to skip them and find. Of course, if you've already gone a while without a Stargazer. And then just try and find the nearest stargazer because oftentimes they'll be like right behind the boss. It's happened to us with like a couple of enemies already. Oh, there's an item over there. Sorry, boys. Yeah, there's an item there. Look at this. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh-huh. Very sneaky. All right, here we go. It's crazy how I upgraded Vigor one time, and, and I can already see the difference in stamina consumption. It's insane. I mean, I also have an amulet that does kind of help me out with that, the speed of it, but the amount that I consume when doing these heavy attacks is so different now. I think it was literally just one or two upgrades at most, which is nuts. Crumbled Baptist Doodle. Ergo hearts connect mind with wavelengths. The transparent fullness where lies cannot exist. Is that the new true world or a forced prison? Maybe I won't. Maybe be able to think free. Laughing in my head or running away. Okay. I have no idea. What, what are we going to face here, man? This area has been pretty challenging, to be honest. So, I expect no less. Fuck. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Already looks dangerous. Ay, ay, ay. Mamma mia. I knew those containers with a what Welcome the Welcome to my grave. This is where evolution becomes real. Fear me. Oh, that's I Victor. Victor. The champion. This guy literally rushed me. Barely any damage. I think what's scary about this guy is barely any damage. Oh, we're 
we're gonna be here for a hot fucking minute. Oh my god. I'm barely doing any damage to this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? Cool from Dragon Ball Z for some reason. Wait, what? Wait, he's second phase without the uh uh oh. Alright, what sort of bane shit is this? Oh wait, but didn't we didn't even finish the other health. Does he have three I was just gonna heal, dude. Man, if I would have beaten that boss in my first try, that would have been some shit. Alright, so when he does that, like, fist up, he's gonna grab me. I gotta keep that in mind, because that's, that's, that's a big hit right there. See, that's a grab. That's a grab indeed. I need to re 
recuperate some of that health. In the world, <laughs> so freaking close. <laughs> what? Humanity must be born again. It's their duty and their fate. He was done. I had him. I, 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 I had him. Open All right, Vic. Tell me what you got, bro. Come on. You want to play aggressive? We can play aggressive. Let's go. We're going to play this aggressively. Okay. Maybe not too aggressive. Let's go, Vic. Shouldn't be able to do that when I'm in my fucking move, bro. That's that's fucked up. Come on, man. That that's messed up. But again, this game ain't fair, is it? I'll be able to heal up here. No problem, old Vic. No problem, Vic. You want to play dirty? That's bullshit. I had him with that second swing. Look, I couldn't even stagger him. Wow, okay, that's weird. That one took longer than usual. What happened, Vic? Not 
looking too hot, huh? That was stupid. I should have just dodged. It's going three times, right? One more. I missed him completely. We don't need that. We good. We don't need that. What's going on, Vic? Okay, Vic, chill. <laughs> Come on, you're almost dead. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, look at it, bro. Look at his health. Like, I, I'm just gonna, just gonna throw a wrench at him or some shit. Like, I'm just gonna throw something at him. Wow, fuck, Vic. Here. I not play with fire because I might get burned here. <laughs> I don't know. Please tell me that's that's the end of him. Like if, if this guy trends. I am evolved. A better man. Don't tell me this guy. happening I'm surprised you defeated Victor Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? Hope for a cure. Monsters. You're short-sighted, just like your father. Oh, shit. But you speak the truth as you see it, just like everyone else. We, on the other hand, are visionaries. We understand the petrification disease on a deeper level. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes, the ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. 
<sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet. And I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the alchemists, isn't hospitable. Oh boy. Oh boy. So I have a feeling that that, that thing he's got with him, it, it it's going to be one of those crazy bosses that we're eventually going to go up against because... I mean, there's just no way. That's probably going to be the final boss or he's going to be the final boss. And then here again, we have Victor who got completely obliterated by him with one shot. He was already weak, but... I don't know where does this lead because we now have the key we now have the key the isle of alchemists according to the guide vanini visited that place that's something i guess hmm all right so i don't know where we're going from here I'm assuming we get out of the castle. Yeah. Oh, we're back here again. Oh. Look who it is. Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight. Mm. His windows to the world. To a terrible, slow working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles. And do I ever need one? The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough to cure. And never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible-kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. Besides, for a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in Bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Uh, are you there? C can you hear me? Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal favor? I don't know. They did come me their new remember when I forgot what chapter it was, but they called us their new dumbass. So I don't know. Hey, it happens. It's a smart choice. Those things are priceless. And I don't even know if you have any. But now you know that your friends are desperately in need of it. I don't use that word lightly, desperate. But it's true. Without your help, my brother may never see the light again. So if you do find any gold coin fruit, I hope you'll share it with us. I'd be forever grateful. Mm. Okay. Let's see what weapon it gives us and... Oh, where'd he go? Huh? Wait. Hello? People have no idea. Thanks for coming. I see your, your lives are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. Hmm. Okay, so... This guy's not here anymore. Lady Antonia has heard about the... Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. 
but I still believe the gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm not going to buy this just yet. Actually, you know what? I'll buy it. We're already here. Might as well. Um, where is the dog? Where do you go? I need to see what weapon I can unlock with this thing. You don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about areas you want to know about. I knew the alchemists were up to something. Something more sinister than just a cure. I should have known. Never trust an alchemist, I always say. But in desperate times, I broke my own rule. This is tragic news, especially for Antonia. Do what you can to keep her heart from breaking. The barren swamp was originally vacant, useless land. It became a massive dumping ground when the factory started disposing of puppets. The polluted groundwater spawned strange creatures. Hmm. Perhaps similar to the ones in the cathedral. Definitely worth an investigation. And rumors whisper a rare treasure in a monster's nest. Why don't you go look for it, son? Hmm. Interesting. Krat Central Station. Yes, it's where you woke up. There used to be a workshop near the station. However, the puppets destroyed it when they attack. Many of the puppets have moved on, but now strange monsters lurk nearby. Be careful if you go back. You're precious to me. Alchemist headquarters. People call them the Alchemists of the Isle. Their headquarters must be on an island across the sea. But it's not on any charts. I remember tales of an underground dock in Krat, where the alchemists would embark. That's all I know. Thank you. Let's see what he says. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. S -s Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. Are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or mm. a quicker but peaceful end. Oof. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. Oh, s here we go. Oh my God, a cure for Antonia. Oh man. All right. The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. Okay, so now we've got a cure. I don't know if it's, it's, it's one of those. Do you want to give it to her or do you not? Well, we've got the cure. I'm going to go speak to this lady, this chick that uh, upgrades us. See what she has to say. So you met Simon. I've been dreading this conversation. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. Mm. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future. Even worse than the carcass monsters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. 
Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can. Of course. Please, save Croft. Wow. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm the listener. To bear a witness. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Why this power came to me in this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out, wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe it wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree for them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Hmm. Petrification disease, puppet frenzy, and carcass monsters don't happen by chance. They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life made from the petrification disease. It contains the memories and distilled lifespan of the victim. That's why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves or describe someone else's memories. Simon coveted Ergo's power and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare. Okay. Whatever choice you we have okay we can level up once we've got motivity i think i should definitely bring up the technique a bit there we go i've got no idea where this dog went again i really wanted to see what i could do with that ergo see what i could do with the weapon what up what weapon we can unlock we've got a, a cure for this lady as well but we're going to leave that for the next video. Again, this is not an official series. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Um, at the time of recording this, tomorrow I'm probably going to give Lords of the Fallen a go. And having two of these types of games is probably going to drive me insane. But this has been really far so fun. This this has been really far so... This has been really fun so far. And um, we've got it pretty far. And uh, I just hope you've enjoyed whatever it is we've been able to to come up with as far as content is definitely a very challenging game but it feels really rewarding so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed it drop it a like and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one